G'day and welcome to another big edition of the RDFNL A-Grade Netball Show. Thanks to our friends at On Time Delivery Solutions. I'm joined by Tara Murray from the Star Weekly. It is grand final week. Time to get excited. It is. And look, we've had a cracker of a netball season. I hope it finishes on the same note. It's probably been the most interesting netball season we've had in recent years. We've had results we didn't expect. We've had teams to climb up the ladder. Look, Macedon has been the favourites all season. They've gone through undefeated. I think that surprised them a little. They did go through last year's regular season undefeated, and then we all know what happened in finals. And in the end, we've got Macedon Romsey, which would have been the grand final pick 12 months ago. Didn't happen. But now we've got it here, and you've got, obviously, a side that's looking to get a premiership after going so close the last few years against probably the most successful side in recent years. I was reading, I think it's their sixth grand final since 2010. and they're going remarkable. And they're going for their fifth premiership in that time. So it says about the community in Romsey that year in year out they can get this netball program up and going they, a couple of years ago they didn't have a team six weeks out from the season the lean away managed to build that team back up they, they did lose a number of players in the off season again but they've still got a really strong side and they're back in another grand final if they win back to back premierships would be one of the great talking points of the year I mean this competition is filled with it but we'll uh, we'll We'll drop it down a few notches and we'll drop down to the uh, 19 and unders and we talk up Rupert's Wood v Wood and Heskett. Uh, are the Hawks a chance or are Rupert's Wood just going to go on their merry way and win another flag in this division? Look, you've got the most successful team of the under 19 competition. Ever. Well, they have not lost a match in the under-19 competition. That's amazing. So that tells you what... <laughs> history is against the Hawks here. History is against the Hawks. That tells you a lot about Rupert's Wood and what they've done in this under-19 side. This side's probably a little bit more experienced than they had the previous years. As their netball program came together late, a lot of players who are playing in the 19s also do play in the Bs and the Cs. You've got some of these girls have played A grade as well in the past. So this is probably one of the more experienced Rupert's Wood under-19 sides. And then you've got Wood and Heskett who were playing... The under 19s is their first ever side to make netball grand finals. They do have a bit of experience as well. Uh, more than half their team does play in their A grade side as well. So you've got obviously Tara Burnups, they're going to be the key um, in goals for them. You've got Brittany Bowen, who finished second in the league, best and fairest behind a River Tool player mm. as well. So you've, you've got a lot of. Um, players who have got that higher level but I think Rupert's will, will be too strong and that experience is probably going to come in handy against a side that hasn't been there before. Yeah you're spot on there. The way the uh, Sharks have been going if they're going to drop one game it's probably not going to be a grand final in this case here. They're uh, very experienced at this stage. C grade grand final on the back of a close prelim last week, uh, will we see a close C grade grand final? Look you've obviously got you've got Rupert's will burst diggers rest, repeat of last year's grand final. Rupert's Wood probably isn't the same side they were last year, but they still managed to be the first side through to a grand final. And in the end, they're playing Diggers Rest, who come through a thriller against Macedon to get through. I think Rupert's Wood will be too strong, and they will be going for a third. They could possibly take out a third straight premiership. At the same time, the Boroughs have probably learned from 12 months ago, and they've got nothing to lose. They they will be really wanting to get that win. And return to the Premiers in the netball. It's been a number of years since they've had that, and I think it was their Bs and Cs back then who were the dominate side, dominant side for the for the club so it'll be quite interesting but I do think Rupert's will, will get up I've seen one of these teams play already this year and it is uh, Diggers Rest and they played some uh, great netball I think they had a win that day so just purely on basis of that I'm going to go for a Ruffy and uh, and, and get them be, I'll get behind them uh, it looked at my hometown so I've got to show a bit more support to them and uh, Big Ray Grand Final is certainly going to be an interesting one the, uh, the Cats will be looking their lips after a week off look I think this could be the netball match of the day Mm. I saw the qualifying final between these two teams. Macedon led all day. Rupert's Wood came at them late. They traded goals in that last quarter. In the end, both sides missed goals. They probably should have hit late in the game. And Macedon ended up getting up by one goal on that occasion. So that was a cracker of a qualifying final. If we get that in the grand final, we're up for an absolute brilliant <laughs> match. You've got Rupert's Wood, who is going, I think it's for a fifth straight premiership as well. So like they're under 19s, you've got two sides that have barely lost a game in the last five years, which says the dominance of both of these sides. First Macedon, who uh, the qualifying final win was the first time they'd knocked off Rupert's Wood in B-grade netball. So mm. it was a little bit different for there. And look, you go, there's a lot of atmosphere around Macedon at the moment with their A-grade side in the grand final again. And I know their B-grade win in the qualifying final sort of spurred um, their their A-grade side heading into that um, qualifying final with both teams playing Rupert's Wood. I think Rupert's Wood are going to want to get one back on that last one. They didn't have Di McCormack there, their coach last time either. So you bring her back in and she's coached all of these grand finals. If you bring her back in, it'll be quite an interesting one. I think it will be the match of the day. Your tip for this one? I think Rupert's Wood still. I'm going to... Uh 
gets behind Macedon as we build up to the uh, the grand finale, the piece of resistance on the day. Uh, we've got last year's reigning premiers taking on last year's uh, and this year's minor premiers. It's Macedon v Romsey. Look, this will be a quite an interesting match. And you've got Macedon, who's been the queer favourites all season, against a Rumsey side that did finish the regular season in fourth but could have quite easily finished a lot higher. Uh, as I was writing the preview for the RDFL, RDFNL record, mm -hmm. looking, I think nine of their matches have been decided by six goals or less. As I think there's been three one-point losses, a draw, and they've won a couple of games at one point. Their biggest loss of the season is 16 goals, which did come to Macedon. Mm -hmm. But the two sides played each other in the semi final and it went to extra time with cats got across the line in wet conditions i know speaking with kira stewart she's like we didn't play well that was our worst game of the year we need to massively step it up for the grand final and then speaking with luke marco rawlins who is the romsey coach he goes we they say that they didn't play well but we say it's because we didn't let them play well so mm, he said they've yep. got, he said they've got a few things so shots have been fine <laughs> he said they've still got a few things to work on and if they can get them they think they can get the job done so it's going to be quite an interesting one you've got one side that's got all the pressure and you've got the other side who is looking to continue a brilliant run of grand finals and results for that club in the last eight years your tip for this one and who is going to get best on court look i think macedon will be too strong yep. i think there, there's been a resolve about this team the minute they lost finals last year and went out in straight sets, there has been a massive result from this team. I think Caitlin Alfredo yep. will get best on court as well. Macedon with Chloe Wilson to continue her dynamic season with an MVP in the VNL, the uh, the Ryan Medal in the RDFNL, a Premiership Medal and a Best on Ground Medal. She's going to absolutely uh, carve it up. But should the result go the other way, I'm going down the, uh, the ferocious, ferocious bull-like terrier in uh, in Chelsea Ross, she will dominate. This is the stage is built for her. So if Romsey do get up, my tip is that she'll uh, she'll get it. So it'd be fantastic. Well, that's my same if yeah. Romsey gets up. <laughs> as I was writing, probably the two keys to the match are Chloe and Chelsea. You two, you two main goalers, they will be the keys. Should be an absolute cracking grand final day. And of course, as we did discuss off air, um, we will uh, be recapping all the grand finals next week. So this won't be the last time we'll be uh, we'll have the pleasure of joining you guys. And thanks to our friends at On Time Delivery Solutions. Thanks to you. Tara for jumping on board. We'll, we'll catch you next week to highlight the big day. Thanks, Henry.